I'm convinced on his birth certificate is Martin Tikkun Olam Schenker. On top of that technical knowledge and the intellect comes just this great heart and willingness to communicate, to listen to the points of view of others. Building community and Sue and Marty is all one. They walk the talk. I grew up in Vancouver, which is a very, very tight-knit, somewhat insular Jewish community where you essentially become Jewish by osmosis. Sue was born with Jewish values of community building, Zionism, of Israel, of tikkun olam. Marty came from Beverly Hills, which had a semblance of Yiddishkeit, but nothing like Sue and I knew. Marty, very Jewish in terms of his family, not so much in terms of his practice. We jointly set out to make Marty our Jewish project. We both clearly thought that uh, deep engagement would be something that would be wonderful for Marty and also for our community. I got involved in one nonprofit and kept uh, moving to others, loving the experiences, and ended up becoming board president of JCRC, which was the pinnacle of my nonprofit work in the Bay Area Jewish community. In 2003, I was invited to join a Wexner group and the JCCSF board and the Federation board. I said yes to all three, and it became an opportunity for deep and meaningful engagement in our Jewish community. Sue distinguished herself in many respects by being chair of the JCC of San Francisco and recognized by the community by the Judith Chapman Award. For me, it is not just showing up at the board meetings. I have wanted to do a deep dive um, and truly understand all parts of the agency. I find the more you give, the more you get back. When I finished chairing the JCCSF board, I decided to combine my legal skills and passions and form my own law firm, uh, representing nonprofits exclusively, Temple Emanuel, the JCC, the Jewish Home, Camp Ramah, Brandeis. Uh, and I've also represented nonprofits in our secular community like Family House and the Blood Bank. The JCC flourished under Sue's leadership, JVS flourished under Marty's leadership, and the JCRC arguably soared with Marty as chair. Through leadership at the JCRC, I got the privilege of, of leading three trips of our civic leaders to Israel. People come to the trips with preconceptions about what Israel is. We forge alliances with people that are so important when we come back. I had one African-American church leader who said to me at the end of a trip that if BDS came to his church before the Israel trip, he would have been a receptive audience. And when he came back, he said, there's no way they're getting past me for something like that. There was a period in 2017 where every night at dinner I told Sue how unhappy I was with the, the course of our, our country's direction. And after doing it for a long time, uh, Sue looked at me and she said, you're accomplishing absolutely nothing by complaining to me. Go get a pro bono case. Scores of the immigrant teenage boys were literally snatched up off the streets of New York and shipped to a detention facility outside of Sacramento. We got a, a nationwide injunction guaranteeing that these teenagers would get a hearing before they could be thrown uh, in jail. And because of a lack of evidence, ICE stopped its practice of these mass raids on, on teenagers. Marty has made no secret of the fact that he'd like to do more of this work with us. Uh, and I know when he says that, he means it. He wasn't just checking a box for civic engagement personally or for his firm. He truly and passionately believes in the cause. All of us in our community were immigrants at one time. And the idea that we could just sit by idly is so uh, foreign and antithetical to our values and history. Several years ago, I decided I wanted to expand my community involvement beyond uh, Jewish agencies into the public sector, and an opportunity arose to serve on the San Francisco Planning Commission. Whenever an item comes in front of the Planning Commission, everybody kind of turns to Sue because she is always willing to listen to people and have a conversation that is respectful and that leads to better decisions. 
The training I acquired in JCRC's Year of Civil Discourse has been incredibly useful to me in figuring out how to approach balancing the competing needs and values that the Commission is pre presented with on a weekly basis. The work Marty has been doing is a bridge between the Jewish values of caring for your fellow human beings. I can't think of any award more appropriate. Um, I grew up with Sue. I knew what she would bring to any community that she chose to become a part of. And both Sue and Marty have given of their time, their energy, their resources, their relationship to make sure that our city is better. And I've been in the bleachers watching them stride and lead the community for all these years. And I couldn't be more proud of them and this honor bestowed by the JCRC. Mm -hmm.